Hi, my name is Jennifer Green. I'm an endocrinologist and professor of medicine at Duke University in North Carolina in the U.S. The confidence study is designed specifically to help answer the question as to whether or not dual treatment of people with chronic kidney disease and type 2 diabetes with empagliflozin and finerenone provides a benefit that is greater than that provided by either drug alone. So we will enroll about 800 people, adults with type 2 diabetes and chronic kidney disease stage 2 to 3 who have a, a urine albumin to creatinine ratio between 300 to less than 5,000 milligrams per gram. And those patients will be randomized either to uh, empagliflozin plus placebo, finerenone plus placebo, or both drugs. But of course, this will be blinded, so no one will know who's receiving which of the medications. But the primary outcome is actually the relative change in the urine albumin to creatinine ratio from baseline to 180 days. And we're specifically comparing the effects of dual therapy to finerenone alone, as well as dual therapy to empagliflozin alone um, in these very high-risk individuals. The eligibility criteria um, include adults, so everyone has to be 18 years of age or older, type 2 diabetes, chronic kidney disease stage 2 to 3, and a urine albumin to creatinine ratio of between 33.9 to less than 565 milligrams per millimole, or um, in U.S. units, between um, 300 to less than 5,000 milligrams per gram. Now, there are people with kidney disease who will not be eligible for the study, and that would include people with type 1 diabetes, people with a serum potassium greater than 4.8 millimoles per liter at screening, or those, of course, who are already taking an SGLT2 inhibitor or a mineralocoid receptor antagonist. The primary outcome measures include, um, uh, include really a primary assessment of whether or not taking two, two drugs together reduces albuminuria or, or slows progression of albuminuria compared to taking either drug alone. And we know that both of these drugs um, are, in fact, uh, are, in fact, effective in slowing the progression of UACR. So our hope is to see a combined or additive benefit. There are a number of secondary objectives, and those include um, those include assessment of safety outcomes. We, we certainly would want to ensure that dual therapy is safe compared to either treatment alone. So we'll be looking at initial and longer term changes in measures of kidney function, such as EGFR, rates of acute kidney injury, as well as any potentially treatment-related adverse events, such as hyperkalemia, genital mycotic infections, or symptomatic hypotension. Music